All right, YouTube. We'll make a quick state of the shack for you. <sighs> Got a lot going on. There's a lot of updates, but there's a lot of disappointments. So, you can see a headlight here. It's for a new car I got. Ended up selling the uh, AMC. I got it where it ran and drove. I drove it around a little bit, but it still needed far more work than I was able to provide for it. I wanted to do more for it, but I got offered a really good deal. This car being part of it. So I got rid of it. Not my most happy thing I did, but it's going to somebody who actually has the money and the facilities to take care of it. I was still kind of irritated um, insurance wouldn't cover it as a classic car. They only wanted to cover it as a passenger vehicle, which was going to be $65 a month. Which would have gotten expensive for something I'd drive maybe once a month. So, that ship has sailed. It's been replaced by this car. Those, uh, I'm going to save that video. I'm actually going to do some videos on it. It's a very common car. Everybody's had one, or seen one. And at least everybody's grandmother has had one. And it's not another uh, Ford um, Crown Vic. It's not a Mer Mercury. It is a Japanese car. That's all the hints I'm giving you. Oh, here you go. There's the blinker light. Or I'll give you another hint. There's the other headlight slash blinker light. These are brand new, by the way. The ones that are on it are very foggy. And the blinkers on both sides are broke out of it. They got crushed or dry rotted and very brittle. All right. Let's go over what's going on here in the shack. As you can see, it's very empty. I got rid of the Cushman, too. I sold that. Somebody offered me money for that. I got rid of it. The Can-Am is no longer in here. That is a story in its own, and part of the reason why I've been in such a slump for the last couple months. But we'll talk about the good things. Honda, still running fantastic. It is a Honda. Um, Something new. I will be... Putting a new winch cable on it i've been using it we have had several hurricanes and i've used it for moving fallen trees and stuff the end of it's getting really frayed so it's going to need to be either have the end chopped off and a new part put on or just replace the whole cable which i'm thinking about doing because i have in that bin over there there's a whole nother winch just the winch part not the motor the motor was shot the cable's good on it. Uh, Kawasaki is in here now. I got it running and semi-usable. It still smokes. It's still low on power. It needs the engine rebuilt. Which I'm going to do. It's a nice enough four-wheeler. It doesn't have any rust on it. You know, most of the stuff on it works. I think I'll hold on to it. So, it needs a rebuild. It's not that bad. It needs an axle rear brakes don't work and then it needs like a little bit of like the plastic right here hits against the wheel and a seat cover so not too bad moving on let's see there's the engine that came out of the honda mini bike back here i put a 125 in it it definitely increased the power a lot to the point to where it is sketchy to ride it is a four speed and every one of them is terrifying. <laughs> Not really, but it is way faster than it was. Way more power. It actually idles now. It doesn't smoke. I went to, as you can see, it's muddy. I took it out to the spillway and it doesn't do well in sand. It was, you know, basically walking along the whole time because it just kept trying to slide, go out from under me. I mean, I'm not an experienced dirt bike rider, and this by any means is not made to go in the sand. But, I rode it for a little while, enjoyed it, made my knee hurt. Then I went and got the Honda and actually enjoyed myself. Um, generator and a lot of empty gas cans. We did get hit by the hurricane. Uh, it was a Cat 2, almost a Cat 3 when it came through here. We had winds at the airport across the street of 109 gusts. Lost two trees 
had a limb go through the White House back there that you see in the videos sometimes. Had to fix that. Lost some shingles. And then we lost power for four and a half days. So it wasn't terrible, but at least we had a cold front the day after. So it was in the 60s with no power. So it wasn't terrible. It could have been in the 90s. What happened to my dad like two or three months ago with the last hurricane over in Lake Charles. So generator got its use. It's going to be getting an oil change and winterized for next year. Unless the storm that's down in the Caribbean decides to come up here. Then it will be used one more time. Uh, I was meddling with inverters too. I went and bought a battery. Used. It's crap. Because I was going to use the inverter to charge my phone and stuff. But the battery won't even run the inverter. I went to the place in, uh, at Pull Apart. And um, the guy had just a regular voltmeter. And it showed 12.8 volts. I was like, oh, he said, yeah, it's a good battery. It's a 2000... Let's see if I can figure it out. 2016. I didn't notice it when I bought the dang thing. But yeah, it's got 13 volts on it right now. I've had it on a charger for two days. As soon as you put anything bigger than a light bulb on it, it poops out. So i got to go back to the West Bank and put... Oh, I'll bring that back with the receipt and be like, yeah, this battery's no good. I still gotta bring them wheels over to Mike on the, uh, and Chalmette. But yeah, that's about it for, uh, Stay the Shack. I'll make a special video on the can -Am. That was a fiasco. I am still not over it, but it could have gone worse. It could have been better. I've learned. So, um... Yeah, that's about it. Hope you enjoy the video. Oh, I'm tired. It's been a long day. Comment, rate, subscribe. Have an awesome day.